The big story tonight, the plot, the ambush, and the killing of Lorenzen Wright. Details coming out in court on how it all supposedly went down. Thanks for joining us for this early edition of News Channel 3 at 6. I'm Stephanie Skerlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Those details coming from Jimmy Martin, an unindicted co-conspirator in this case. Martin was back on the stand today talking about the night Lorenzen Wright was murdered. WRG's April Thompson joins us now live in court. And April, I know Martin says that he was not there the night Lorenzen Wright was killed, but he does have a lot of information on what he says happened. Fill us in. That's right, he does. In fact, he says Jimmy Martin says he did not take part in Lorenzen's killing, but he says days after the murder, Shera came to his home in Batesville, and that's when he says Shera Wright told him what she and Billy Turner had done. Jimmy Martin says Shara came to his home to pick him up and get a metal detector days after her ex-husband was killed. She said, uh, did she need to find a gun? She said, you know, did, it, did the plan went through it? Everything went through that night? Oh, yeah, well, what were you talking about? Okay, she said the plan, of the murder of Lorenzo had went through it. And she had lost one of the guns. She had lost one of the guns? Yes, sir. And that was what the metal detector was for? Yes, sir. Martin says Shara and Billy took him to a field where the murder happened. He says Shara told him she got Lorenzen to go with her to the field, saying she was meeting somebody for money. So she met her and Lorenzen met up with Billy on this road. That's when I guess they ambushed him. You say you guess? Why do you say you guess? Because I wasn't there. She tell you what happened once they met up with him. Other than Lorenzo jumping over the fence. Lorenzo had his back to him. They started chasing him. They started firing at him, chasing him. He jumped through the fence. He was jumping like a deer. They caught him when he fell. She said both of them had gone. Did she say whether or not both of them fired? She said both of them fired. Martin says days later, he and Billy rode together to get rid of the gun used to kill Lorenzo, spotting a lake in Mississippi. Once we got there, we proceeded to uh, get rid of the pistol. Tell me how that happened. Tell me who did what. Billy got the pistol out the uh, trunk, fouled off the searing on it, and threw it into the lake. And where were you when this was happening? I was uh, right there beside. But when the defense questioned Martin, they pointed out many inconsistencies in his story and how details had changed over the years he talked to police who was present when the guns were on the table, you in fact said you didn't remember if Billy was there or not. And then you said, well, it must have been there because Shara gave me Billy's car. Yes, sir. All right, and you said that, as a matter of fact, you described that this meeting was an hour or so long, but you had no memory of Billy being there, correct? Yes, sir. Also, one of the police detectives who interviewed um, Bill, who interviewed Billy Turner shortly after his arrest testified about Turner's nervousness when he showed him the murder weapon that was used. He also says Turner first said he didn't know anybody in a photo lineup that included Shara Wright, but then he admitted he knew her and but hadn't seen her in a couple of weeks, yet police had video surveillance of him meeting with Shara. Now, the defense countered that what the detective is saying about Turner's demeanor and how he was acting is his opinion since there is no video of that actual interview. A couple of other witnesses also took the stand today before wrapping up about an hour ago. Now, this prose the prosecution says it has one more witness that it will bring forth, and then it will be the defense's turn. This case will go into the weekend. The court will resume tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'm News Channel 3's April Thompson reporting live downtown Memphis.